factors really had you guys thinking, you know, Canyon Partners really needs to move to Texas. Um, and what other states did you guys consider? Um, just to be clear, we moved our headquarters here. We still okay. have an office in Los Angeles that's okay. actually at the moment at least larger than the one here, okay. although I would anticipate those will be more equal and eventually probably be more heavily weighted here. Okay. And we have offices in New York and London and elsewhere. Um, there's sort of a push and a pull. Sandy and I were talking about this a little bit before because she's kind of an interesting case having moved from Palm Beach yes. where you don't have the same push to get out because you're in a low tax, more affordable state. Right. Um, there were certain things that made Los Angeles a very exciting place to have a business many years ago. And a lot of those things have gotten more difficult. Um, whether they're cost of living, whether it's the length of the commute, whether it's property prices, um, whether it's the quality of public schools, um, and whether it's the easy availability of private school alternatives, um, plus generally, um, Robert talked about the attitude and the, and the um, welcoming sense of being, uh, of actually applauding business success. Um, I, I believe that um, in the state where I lived, business success used to be applauded and it was tremendously exciting. And I don't feel that way any longer, to be perfectly candid. Um, whereas, uh, so, so we started looking at other places uh, really to give alternatives to our employees where we could hire, where we could have, a, have all those factors that I just talked about. And we looked at a lot of different states. And, and I think, and we looked at a lot of cities. We looked in Austin, we looked in Dallas, we looked in, um, in Nevada, in Reno, which uh, we met with the head of EDON, the Economic Development Authority of West Nevada, which has so many businesses moving to it. Um, we looked in um, Palm Beach, we looked in Miami. Uh, so we looked at a lot of cities. I talked to people like uh, the, the senior uh, guys at Goldman Sachs who were doing very detailed studies of a number of different states and tried to find a place that felt comfortable and welcoming and that would provide a lot of those, a lot of those things and also provide the excitement and the a sort of rejuvenating factor that you feel when you go to a new place. Mm -hmm. I felt that way when I moved from New York to Los Angeles to work for Mike Milken when he was not really a very well-known character in the business world. Mm -hmm. And it was extraordinary. And um, having that, being a part of that excitement was a great thing. And I felt a, a change, of, a change of, of location could provide that. And, <clears throat> and we haven't been disappointed. We felt that Dallas could offer that combination of affordable homes, mm -hmm. of, of reasonable commutes, extraordinarily rich group intellectually. And that, that's a very, very big deal. Um, you don't have to look far in Dallas to find really sophisticated investors, mm -hmm. really sophisticated um, people in the real estate business, in the finance business, in the arts, in the humanities. It's a real city, and it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better because it's very clear that the state very much wants to be a, a, a mecca for people looking for a, a hospitable place to do business. So it really stood out to us. Um, we liked Austin a lot. My, my, son's, uh, my son's firm has moved its headquarters to Austin. Okay. Um, I felt it was more difficult to move a larger population of people there comfortably with schools and residences and everything else. And, and Dallas um, had a very at-home feeling for us. Okay. Um, by the way, the city was designed by some of the same landscape architects who, who laid out Los Angeles, which is why so many of the street names are actually the same in Beverly Hills. Okay. Beverly, Crescent, Lexington, and so forth. That's not a coincidence. It's actually the fact. So it felt comfortable to us. And, and as we've come here, um, we could not have had, on a, on a personal level, a more welcoming environment. So those are just a few of the, a few of the many reasons. Um, but I, I think it has, it has, if anything, far exceeded expectations.